judges us. We keep on speaking. Amen. Certainly the one that we know can dwell in that atmosphere. And so we thank the Lord today for how he has led us. Thank him for where he has brought us now. And at this time, let us bow, God, we thank you. Certainly, Lord, for the time that we have shared. Thank you, Lord, for being able to again stand before your people. We pray that you will certainly give us power today to deliver your word, to certainly preach for thee, O oh God. So, God, use us now. Bless the hearer now of your word, that it will certainly impact their lives and certainly empower them and encourage them. So, God, we thank you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Those that may have the Bibles, we would like for you to look with us today. Psalm 103. We'll look at verses 1 through 5 of this particular psalm. We will be familiar, I think, when you look at it and read it. Amen. Psalm 103, verses 1 through 5. If you have it, let us uh, go forth. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiven all thy iniquities, who healed all thy diseases, who redeemed thy life from destruction, who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Amen. And today, by way of a thought, we would like to talk to you from this subject. I can't help but praise him. Amen. 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 So praise God. We certainly thank the direction. He certainly has been leading us over these last few Sundays. Uh, I believe he's just been a focus of praise. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm discovering more and more. And when I find reason to keep praising God more, and there's a little less that I have to worry about. And so I do thank his direction. Certainly thank the burning that he has certainly been in my spirit with. Uh, about this of praise. Amen. Because I'm sure on last Sunday you recall when we talked about his praise. And then the last Sunday in February we talked about God, you are my praise. And so by the direction of the Spirit, I always give him this credit. I can't help but praise him. And I do believe when you look at this passage and you will hear what we have to say. You find yourself like David. I can't help but praise him. Now, this psalm uh, certainly has been accredited to David. Uh, it is considered by some the greatest praise psalm. Now, there may be others who agree or disagree, but some have considered this high on the list of the greatest praise psalms. And the text, uh, as we look here, is proof that David was intentional in praising God. And here it is for all his benefits. Because you and I know that we too have been blessed by God not to forget all the things that he has done. You, you think about this in your life and look at this unseen presence, that this power that's been there that has convinced you in some way that somebody is responsible for the good things that have been afforded to my life. And that's why you have to be impressed with David because uh, if we consider this, who among us today can say that God has not done anything for you. I, I, I would like to hear that. I, I would like to even sit down with that person and challenge them. And I will prove to them that God has done something for you. 
Because you may not have recognized that it was God. You might took it for chance. You might took it for circumstance. You might say it was coincidence. But, but I beg to differ because I know there is this unseen presence, force, and power that is responsible for the things that we now have. Because one thing, no matter if we try to, you want to say prove God hasn't, you're going to end up discovering that God has done more than we ask or imagine. Think about that for a moment because he has done that. Because isn't it funny that there's some things I have prayed to God for you, of course, as well. And, and it seemed like God did more than I asked. More than I even imagined. And this is why we can't help but praise him. Therefore, praise the Lord, because there is no historical event. In, and this is what I like about the mystery of this psalm. Uh, because some of these psalms have some, amen, historical event attached to them. And, and when you look at this psalm that David has been credited to write, there is nothing that bears proof that this is the result of an incident that took place in the life of David. But I like this. David felt compelled to bless the Lord. Amen. And, and boy, I would love in this day that we call now, now. that there were some more saints like them who would just be compelled to take a moment and yes. bless the Lord. Yes. Amen. Because see, David is, it's funny here, not talking directly to anybody. Yes. You know, I, I hope you caught that because he is speaking to himself. Yes. And I know some of us understand that that's supposed to be a strange thing to do, right? Yeah. To speak to yourself. But but I, I think we saints have been around long enough to understand that there's some time you can't do nothing but encourage yourself. Yeah. Amen. And, 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 and so I, I, I like this psalm because it is personal to David. And it's proof that David was talking back to himself. Because look at it, he says, bless the Lord. He says, oh, my soul, and all that is within me, bless his soul. Now, now, it does not sound like David is talking to anybody, but he says, bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Amen. And, and, and that, to me, gets my attention because that has to do with something internal. Yes, David know that the soul is not out of me. It's, it's not the thing that I see, but it's the inner being yes, yes. that's inside of each of us. Yes. And so David talks to it, and he says, Bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and, and all that is within me. He says, Bless his holy name. Amen. Ain't everybody glad he says his holy name? Amen. Yes, God just don't have no ordinary name. He has a name to be reverenced, yeah. a name to be respected, and amen, even a name to fear because it's a holy name. Yeah. And, and, and I like this because he, he's challenging himself personally that I need to find a reason and even think about that I need to give God some praise. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So, so I tell myself, amen, bless his holy name. Yeah. That's what he said. I mean, if, if you hear me today, that's all David is saying of his soul. He said, all that is within me. And, and, and this is how deep he goes. He said, all that's in me. And, and, and I did remind you on last Sunday that you got his praise that's in you. And, and, and I don't know about you. You are going to let it out. And I'm not talking about just get here. Because I don't know of anybody I know today that, that have some time by yourself. In your home, they sometimes driving on the street or there, there, there's a moment that comes a reflection and, and I can't do nothing but half myself but just praise the Lord. And, and, and I said just that it don't matter how you do it, just open up your mouth sometimes and let a little praise flow out. 
So, so aren't you impressed with David as he speaks to himself, as, as he internalized here and say, you know, to my soul, he said, everything that we got in us, let's, let's bless his holy name. That, that, that's the thing David makes clear here. Because the end result is, is that when we get to it, I can't help but praise him. Come on now. Come on now. Amen. After I recall that inside of me, that there is some in me that reminds me that I have a reason yes. to bless his name. Now, now, I'm only talking to those who really hear me today because I know some of us feel that I ain't got no reason to bless the Lord. But, but let me go ahead and do this right quick. You woke me up this morning. Amen. He woke you up this morning. He woke you up this morning. He woke you up this morning. I don't have to go no further than that because you didn't get yourself up. I don't care how many mechanisms you have. I don't even care how much you set your time. And, and, and I think we knew the time went forward, right? But, but in spite of us getting ready for that, it was only the Lord. Who woke us up this morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. So, so I, I, I just got to humble us quickly because somebody is trying to look for this perfect thing that on, that man. God, this extraordinary thing, this this spectacular thing. Yeah, that yeah. that's the reason I praise Him. But let me help you right now. You need to know how to praise yeah, Him. Yeah. Amen. Anytime. Yeah. And so, therefore, He says, "Bless the Lord, O my soul." And all that with them, he blesses. But then he proceeds and say, bless the Lord. He says it again, oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. Amen. I, 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 I often wonder why did David was so repetitive here, man. Oh, my soul. I think he's trying to get his soul's attention. Yeah. Amen. Y'all hear me? Yeah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah. I, I have no other reason. Yeah. See, why he would be repetitive in saying, bless the Lord. Oh my, a second time. It, 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 it's like my soul didn't get it the first time. But, 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 but here's a little reminder to the soul, he says, and forget not all his benefits. Amen. I, I, I believe that was helpful because he wanted us not to get beside ourselves and forget how blessed we are. Now, there's some of us complaining and we got enough. Amen. Probably got too much. And we still complain. And we won't remember the benefits that God has already blessed us with. And, and so David said, don't forget. So don't forget. Not all is for his benefits. And, and, and brothers and sisters, you know today that God has blessed us. And he is doing it over and over again. Yeah, every day we get up. We let be a blessed. Yeah, yeah. Amen. And, and I don't know how you define a blessing. I, I don't define it as something extra special. Yeah, yeah. If, if God just wakes me up, I'm blessed. Yeah. If God puts breath in me, I'm blessed. Yeah. If I still can open my eyes yeah. and still see, I'm blessed. Yeah. If I can still hear, I, I, I know I'm, if my mind is still. Ain't that saying that? And, and listen, like this, regulated, I'm blessed. So I, I don't have to go no further than verse 2. Amen. To forget all of his benefits, but I'm glad that David lists some benefits. Amen. You, you see that semicolon that what follows verse 2? Yeah, he, he was letting us know. I want to let you see the list of the benefits. I don't want my soul to fit. It's good that every now and then we got to remind ourselves. Y'all don't hear me? Sometimes we need to be reminded of what God has done and what God is still doing in, in our lives. And, 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 and when it's all said and done, I can't help but praise Him. Amen. Hallelujah. Because look at what He says. He now presents what God has done. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah. He says, who? Amen. And, 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 and I'm so glad David is now identifying some benefits that God has done. And, and I don't know if this can talk to you today, but David was telling you what he know the Lord has done in his life. 
He says, who forgiveth? Yes. All that iniquities. And y'all know that has to do with that sin and stuff. Yeah, that, that wickedness, that, that, that wrong we do. He still forgives. And, and, and you need to know that God is going to forgive. But you need to know how to bless him as a result of his forgiveness. But we know all we, we all ain't guilty of something we've done, something we said, something we even thought. And God is willing to forgive us as long as we what? Confess. But, but David indicates who forgiveth all and thank God for the inclusion of all. Because that means that God ain't just forgiving me for some. <laughs> He's forgiving me for all. Amen. Those inequities. And, and he don't stop there because after forgiveness, he talk about healing. Amen. Somebody. Somebody in here know he has healed you of diseases, of sicknesses. Yes, he has healed. And, and David said, I'm telling my soul, don't forget all of these benefits. Because he didn't heal me, and, and, and they go all again, brothers and sisters. This can't even out because he won't let you know he ain't no partial God when it comes to your healing. Listen, I know cancer is still an issue. I, I know diabetes. I know heart disease and so forth. But do anybody know God can still heal? All these diseases, so I, I praise him. And that's why I can't help but praise him. And, and then as he continues, he say he redeemeth your life from destruction. And, and, and some say that this is from that pit. Amen. I, I know you don't see it there, but, but, but if you do, amen, the research, you'll see that David is really saying he delivered you from a pit. That's destruction. And, and he delivered you even from hell because Y'all know we were on our way until Jesus came. And, and look what Jesus did. He redeemed our life from destruction. And, and there are many of us who can say that we've been redeemed. Amen. And, and, and I love what the psalmist said that the redeemed of the Lord, I would say so. Who we have what redeemed from the hand of the enemy. But, but, but let me get my way out of here because, listen, he tells us these things, but he don't stop there. He done crowned thee. Yeah. And thank God for some yeah. loving kindness. Yeah. And tender. He, he, done, he done crowned us with those attributes. Yeah. Loving kindness and tender mercies. Yeah. And we need to possess some loving kindness. Yeah. Certainly and some tender mercies. Yeah. But those are the things that help us get along with people. Yeah. If you don't hear me today. Because you ain't always been full of loving kindness. Nor have you been always full of tender mercy. But, but thank God he has crowned us with these two things. That, that now we ought to still say to the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul. But finally, my friends, and, and I like how David ends in verse 5, who now satisfies your mouth. And he does it with good things. Amen. And, and that's what God is about, is making sure you're satisfied with good things. Yeah. Amen. He says so that your youth yeah. is renewed like the eagle. Yeah. And I just believe that David is taking us to a place that we can be renewed and feel young yeah. again. Yeah. He said just like an eagle. And y'all know an eagle is a majestic bird. Yeah. Very proud bird. He, yeah. he, he's a symbol of these United States. Yeah. Amen, because it's such a powerful bird and know how to take great heights. Yeah. But think about being renewed like an eagle. Yeah. It's almost like what Isaiah said, that we can run and not get weary. Yeah. And they said, we can walk and not faint. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why, because the Lord has renewed our strengths. Yeah. Amen, and has satisfied our mouth with good things. Yeah. Well, my brothers and sisters, that when we finally think of all these benefits, yeah, 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 yeah. it ought to move us to say, I can't help but praise him. Yeah. You think about personally in your own life. Yeah. Think about what God has done to you. Yeah. And you ought to find yourself in an I can't help situation. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
do I mean that I can't help but praise him? Because listen, he has done so much. Amen. He has afforded us so many ways. He has brought us out of dangers never seen and unseen. Listen, he has made a way out of no way. Listen, he has been there when we're all alone. That's the reason I can't help but praise him. And the reason that I can't help but praise him, because the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endures to all generations. I believe I got a witness. Somebody is in that I can't help but with But you can't help but praise him. Because you think about what he's done. Think about what he's brought you. Think about how he's provided. And you can't help but praise his name. My brothers and my sisters, I'm learning about praise. There's something mysterious. That my mind sometimes can't understand. But all I know is a good thing to bless his name. It's a good thing. Uh, to praise the Lord uh, because he is good uh, my brothers and my sisters uh, it's good to have that type of attitude uh, I can't help uh, I have to praise his name uh, I realize uh, that when I think about him uh, and all that he's done uh, there's a stirring in me uh, there's a mind in my mind uh, that makes me wonder right now uh, look at what God has done. Uh, I need to give him praise. Uh, he's been so good. Uh, David said uh, bless the Lord uh, at all times. Uh, let his praise uh, continually uh, be in his, your mouth. Uh, that's Psalm 34 and 1. Uh, but I like what he says uh, in this particular song. Uh, bless the Lord, uh, oh my soul, uh, and all that is within me, uh, bless his holy name, uh, bless the Lord, uh, oh my soul, uh, and forget not all of his benefits, uh, I thought you ought to know, uh, you got a reason uh, to praise his name, uh, don't let me tell you, uh, you ought to know it for yourself, uh, you know personally uh, what God has done, uh, you know personally uh, how he took care of you. Uh, you know personally uh, how he brought you out. Uh, you know personally uh, how he healed you. Uh, you know personally uh, how he made the way. Uh, you know personally uh, how he kept you uh, from falling. Uh, now saying all of that, uh, I can't help uh, but praise him. Uh, now I got a witness. Uh, When you know uh, how good he's been, uh, especially when you know uh, how he was there. Uh, and I got a witness. Uh, I'm glad uh, David would declare, uh, Bless the Lord, uh, oh my soul, uh, and all uh, that was in me. Uh, now I got a question. Uh, anybody here uh, feel like David? Uh, talking to your soul. Uh, Telling your soul, uh, bless the Lord, uh, bless his holy name. Uh, anybody here uh, can't help uh, but praise him. Uh, have I got a witness? Uh, but as I leave you, uh, the reason I can't help uh, but praise him uh, is because of Jesus. Uh,
can't help it. I'm glad to have it. I can't help it. So this is a good area where I can't help it. I'm, it's a good habit to have. You know I can't help it. I'm, but praise the Lord. Bless his name. Shout hallelujah. To his name. Tell him thank you. I'm, to his name. I'm, I can't help it. I'm, sometimes when I'm alone, I'm, it's a good time. I'm, I sit and I think about I'm, all that he's done. Lord, 
I got to praise you this very moment. Listen, I can't put it off, but I got to praise you. Yes. 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 Yes.